guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another motivating video i love making these videos and you guys already know that because i put out three of them a week and today's video is going to be an entire house clean if you guys watch my channel a lot you know that i go from room to room through our house just getting everything accomplished just doing a general pickup and clean of everything a few questions i often get whenever i'm filming the entire house getting done is number one how long does it take and number two do you have like a method or like a list that you follow I don't generally on these days where I'm just like tackling in and doing the whole house and cleaning all day generally it's an all day clean kind of thing and so I don't usually have a specific list I do lists more whenever I'm gonna do like projects here and there and then I can stay on course with it but doing this I just kind of move from room to room and start you know with picking up everything and then digging into a little bit more of a deeper clean and the second question with that is how long does it take me and if I had to guess I feel like with little ones being around it's very different every time because you know I might have a mess in one area that takes me a long time to clean up or things that I need to spot clean like the walls or you know a couch or something like that so having children especially at the ages of mine really makes that time fluctuate but I would say if I put a really great guess at it it would be around four hours anyways I thought I would answer those questions since I get a lot of those particularly whenever I'm cleaning my whole house I also wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare I've worked with them a lot before if you watch my channel often then you know that and one of the reasons I've worked with them so often is because they have been my absolute all-time favorite favorite collaboration or partnership because I'm so big on learning new things. You guys know that I'm a DIY girl. I love to pick up things and there's a lot of things I've done in my videos that I've never done before and I've literally just sat up to film it and I tried out even recipes in a lot of my cooking. I'm one that will try something new and there's times that things flop and I tell you guys how it flopped or just show you the step by step as I'm going along and learning myself. Just in case you don't know what skills share is it's basically an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey Skillshare offers thousands of classes for people that have interests in so many different areas some of my personal favorite topics that I have found is online marketing and motivation and just how to be a little bit more productive a few other classes that I really want to get into taking is some baking and culinary classes. You all know that I really love to cook and bake myself, but learning new tricks or new methods or new skills on that trade is something that I really would like to dive into. Skillshare classes include a combination of video lessons and a class project. Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and skill level. Most classes are under 60 minutes and one thing that I really like is that you get feedback from a community of millions so as you guys can see by Skillshare's website this is an excellent thing to do on a regular basis but also right now what we're doing a lot of social distancing being at home a lot it's a great way to fill your time and to just kind of push anxiety to the side and just give your brain something to focus on and something to build your knowledge either on a skill that you already have mastered and want to increase or on a new skill. Skillshare is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, but right now, the first thousand people that hit the link in the description box will get two months of Skillshare for free. This will obviously give you time to check it out, see if you like it, find something that piques your interest, which I guarantee you, you will, because their range is just huge huge on their classes. I know, like I said, this has been my absolute favorite partnership. It's something that I have loved, beyond loved, for months now, and I know you guys will too. Okay, so enough about Skillshare right now. Let's jump into getting our motivation going, and I know it motivates me to get these videos filmed for you, and who doesn't love a clean house whenever you're all done, and you can walk through your house, and all the rooms are clean, and even if I end up doing it in two days, which happens sometimes, Sometimes just because we do have a house with a lot of rooms in it um, it still feels so good to at least have that one point in the week where a majority of the house is clean
I started off in the dining room just taking an enviro cloth over my table. I also used a little bit of some lemon essential oil just to get some marker off of the table. That is one thing with having a white table and little ones, I do have to keep up with it, but lemon essential oil has been my lifesaver because it can literally get permanent marker off of a lot of surfaces. Then I went into the laundry room and just tidied things up. I had a load of Norwex cloths that I needed to fold and put away. So I did that and then I did the floor and just, you know, lint and things like that get floating around the laundry room a lot. It took me a while, but I'm finally back on my routine of folding a load a day. It's just such a relief to be caught up constantly with laundry and not having it hang over my head. And um, I also do, you know, sometimes some extra loads in the day, you know, things like blankets and bedding, or if we go to the beach or something like that and have an extra pile of laundry, I will do two loads in a day. With everything so crazy in the world right now, I've been taking a lot of time just to make sure that my heart is in the right place and just taking a lot of time being quiet, reading really good stuff. And I just wanted to let you guys know, if you have a prayer request, you can leave that in the comments. Um, I do read them and I don't know, I just feel like having a sense of community or at least feeling like someone out there cares or is hearing about you is so important right now because we just are in a really difficult time we really are and i want you to know that i care about you and that i'm thinking of you I wiped down the washer and dryer. They were just getting a little spotted up and had some soap that was running down them. And then I also vacuumed those steps. The steps go up to our bonus room, which is pretty much empty. I don't clean it that often just because we don't use it very much.
Next, I tackled our master bathroom, and with our girls being the age that they are, I would say we definitely all use this bathroom a lot. They get their baths in here, and it just gets used a lot more than the other ones, so it's definitely my focus whenever I'm cleaning. I sprayed the tub and the shower out with my tub scrub and I did not get the clips of me doing the tub but I did get the clips of me doing the shower and then I used my bath scrub mitt to scrub everything down. And then these two claws that you're seeing me use on like the glass and the mirrors and that sort of thing um, is my Enviro cloth and then my window cloth. So the Enviro cloth is wet with water. I go over it first with that and then I go over it and kind of polish it up with the window cloth and that is dry. This is a different day, so I did end up splitting this between two separate days, and I went into our bedroom just getting things tidied up. Again, this can kind of go both ways. Sometimes I go through phases of keeping it really clean and not allowing it to get messy, just kind of having our little sanctuary, and then other times it ends up being catch-all for laundry, and the girls will come in here and watch a movie on our bed or something like that, and so toys and other things get in here, but Ultimately, I try to keep it at least the only clean room in the house, even if the rest of the house is a mess, just so that we can go to bed at night and it feels restful and peaceful.
So if you watch often, you might see something new in this room. Can you guys see our new back door? It just looks so awesome. Corey did an amazing job at putting it in. It's so much more open than the doors that were there. We had kind of French door looking doors that were there and it needed to be replaced because the seal was broken in the door. And I just think that these sliding doors that are just huge, they look huge next to what was there, uh, let so much light in and it really makes the back porch kind of look like a part of the house, which I love. All in all, I just think that it's so great. And the only downside is that I have lots and lots and lots of fingerprints <laughs> to clean off, but that's okay. I will take that price to be paid with the great sunlight that we get in. As usual, I will do my best to leave a lot of links below that are often asked about or that are in this video. Things like my wireless headphones, which has been a hot topic lately. You guys have been really interested in them. They are literally $20 on Amazon and I have never had AirPods, but I've read the reviews that they're pretty similar and I've been using mine for a couple weeks now. Corey even borrows them to go for his run, usually in the evening. And so they've gotten a lot of use and they've been holding up well. So I would say for $20, they're definitely worth it to have like hand-free headphones. in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like who Heading into the kitchen, I got my diffuser going. I've been still doing my spearmint. I don't know, I just love that scent whenever I'm cleaning. It smells so fresh and clean. And then I went into the kitchen. I didn't have a ton to do this day in the kitchen um, just because I had been keeping up with it otherwise. So I just zipped through and did the dishwasher and kind of hand washed a few dishes. Nobody can steal me away than I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's 
It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am your horse Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm Two other areas that I did not hit over these two days of filming was my daughter's bedrooms, both of the bedrooms, um, because I filmed both of these during nap time. So since they were in there, I just was like, you know what, I'm not going to worry about filming this in the midst of doing all my other cleaning this week. Of course, I will do it even though I'm not filming it, but sometimes you just get a lot more done when your little ones are taking their naps. Can get in their way or steal the show. They're in love now and I wanted you to know. I hope that this video inspired you. I hope that you got some motivation out of it or inspiration. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. I love going through your comments and responding to the ones that I can. And don't forget to give this video a like. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'd love it if you joined my channel. I do a lot of DIY, mommy motivation, and things like that. And I will see you guys in my next video.